Hey, it's Suge here, and uh, welcome to Tenza World. This is the world of Tensahedron stands, the Tenza 4 stand, the Tenza Solo, and the Tenza Trekking Trees. I had a couple of people ask me if I could unify the Tenza information and kind of show what the differences are. So very quickly and expediently, I'm just going to show you what the different ones are and how they all kind of differ. daughter's dog being he does love a hammock so we've got the tens of solo over here the tens of trekking trees and this is part of the tens of four tens of hedron stand what I have here is the tens of solo conversion kit now I already had the pole and the reason for that is because this is my tens of four stand tens of hedron stand so you just use one of the existing poles And the conversion part is you get just this top piece with the part to run your tarp lines through, the connector with the ball to hook your hammock to, and that just inserts into your existing Tenza 4 stand pole. You just take the, the knob off the top and insert your conversion kit. So this is my Tenza 4 stand pole, and if I place it next to here you can see there's a little bit of an extension here for the Tenza Solo. So if you have a Tenza 4 stand you can just use one pole and just order the conversion kit. Now you hook your hammock on, you have a piece of a, uh, have an Amsteel loop there that goes to the loop on my hammock and on in you go. Now you have a choice of either getting UCRs. For this one I went with straps because I don't plan on carrying this backpack and but uh, this is what you can use for a one tree hang but of course you can use two of the Tenza solos or two of the Tenza trekking trees and hang yourself in a desert or a treeless place or meadow you just gotta make sure that you got all the stakes and things to do it so you'll need stakes for both sides and lines for my Tenza Solo, I'm using the straps with a cinch buckle. And here we've got like a strap. It's a, actually one of these right here. It's a daisy chain strap, and that will go on up, and that hooks to the top. So I just got those. Thought they'd be cool. like to try them. And I am using the boom stake system. Now the difference in the trekking trees is that this pole right here converts to a hiking pole and you can use it as a hiking pole and have that with you on the trail and stake out this one sure you could carry it in a pack if you want if you're not going too far it's not that heavy i i don't know the weight of it i i'll try to weigh it in a little bit so we got the one tenza solo pole right here i'm going to put that on the scales and that is one pound, 10.8 ounces, 760 grams, 26.81 ounces. And of course these straps are going to be a little bit heavier than the Amsteel UCRs. So one set of the straps on there is 5.82 ounces, 165.0 grams for staking out you have your choice depending on your soil I recommend going on their website reading their information on soil and the best stakes for certain soils like they say the sandy soil you want maybe to use these Peggy stakes and they're really light um, they have a top that has a the top looks like this so when you start screwing those in the ground you want to have this little tool 
and this feels like titanium like weighs nothing about as much as a June bug and you use that and just kind of torque that into the ground your next choice is the big orange screw they work really good in a lot of soil conditions and your third choice and the one that I like especially when I get duffy kind of ground out backpacking is the boom stake you have a long stake this piece of aluminum right here that works great for me the aluminum weighs like nothing boom stake because I'm a boomer peggy pegs or big orange screws or snow stakes or you know maybe you've got some other options on the staking feel free but with these systems everything is in the staking you got to make sure you're staked out right or you know you're gonna be on the ground right here I'm using the big orange stake instead of the tens of boom stake um, to hang this one it doesn't seem to bear as much weight on the tens of four stand and there that is on my hand and arm if I lay it on my hand it comes about that far up my arm they really hold well now I just recently did a video on the trekking trees right here and go over everything about them so I'm gonna link that below if you're interested in seeing it and you didn't see it and I'm using the trekking tree right now that's normally the bottom of the pole when I'm hiking along that's the part that hits the ground but right now it is in tarp mode and it supports my tarp but your tarp still must be staked out or this could break off and the hiking pole is set up with the foot that you add to use to support your hammock and of course I'm using that on just a one tree hang so I have both of both of these coming off the same tree part of this is you you know it takes a little while to kind of figure out how you're gonna hang how high or how low you like to hang I like to be where my feet hit the ground so that works for me and you know it may end up different in some other hang somewhere but I'm just uh, laying back into this one right now and this is the one this is the solo and my boom stakes are back there holding I've already tested it you know when you sit in it the first time you want to kind of sit in it sideways and look and make sure that your staking is correct and it's not pulling up and I'll do the same thing over here for the trekking trees now the trekking trees are great because you know if you're using it as a trekking pole it's it's kind of like a dual purpose piece of gear use it as a trekking pole which I do use trekking poles and then when you get to camp uh, let's say you get there and there's a bunch of people at camp already you just a perfect hang somebody's got a tent between it you can find one tree boom there you go you could use your pole that way just opens up some hanging options for us desperate hangers now on my trekking trees I'm using UCRs which is am steel I know in the last video I kept calling them whoopee slings but they're actually UCRs they're like a cousin to the whoopee sling they have a line going up through a constrictor right here then the line comes out and this constrictor right here like on a whoopee sling is what is holding this tight now if you don't mind I will just come over here duck down I got my Dutchware chameleon hooked up here and when I sit in and the reason I have those logs down there is because I keep walking back here and tripping over my boom stakes and you know you sit there and kind of look at your stakes and go ah, they're solid well, I'm gonna lay on back in this hammock and uh, feels just like uh, hanging off two trees feels good I think it feels really good laying here maybe I just need to lay here a while go on Tenza outdoors and check all the information I will link their stuff below peruse you can see people that use their uh, their car or their Jeep or their truck to put one end of the hammock on and then use a pole on the other end some people will use um, just half of their Tenza four stand they'll use like just that part to use and hang a hammock off of there's so many options with these I have not done them all I can't even tell you about all of them all I can say all I can hope is that seeing all the tens of products in one video all together right here uh, helps you kind of clarify what I'm talking about in these different videos and I mention them sometimes and I know I did the tens of solo video but it's buried in a video with my nose cancer you know my this side uh, when I had basal cell and then it was a bunch of mandolin stuff so that's kind of buried just like the tents of trees was buried in a video with me and wandering fool camping but I 
pulled that out and did one and I do have the Tenza 4 stand but it's pretty old and that's back in there so these are kind of three of the Tenza products um, they're really handy they open up a lot of options for your hanging and uh, I've only got one thing to say now and that's Woo, buddy! All secured in Sector 7.